Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Think Future. My name is Calabucas, and once again, we're coming in July from deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking innovation startups, the future, not necessarily those, not necessarily in that order. If you're watching on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you'll get a notification when a new show comes out. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please subscribe and drop a review on Apple Podcasts. Greatly appreciate it. Greatly appreciate it. So let me ask you something. We're in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. We have people doing tons and tons of work. I mean, you probably sense it. If you're in the middle of a corporate environment, you're probably feeling the stress and the pain because there's so many open jobs. There's so much work to be done and people are doubling and tripling up their works. There's so much work that they're doing. They're focused on their core vision. You ever sat back and realized all you do is work, work, work. All you do is work, work, work. And you, you don't have time to do anything different. You don't have time to do anything out of the ordinary, out of anything new, anything innovative. You're just churning and churning and churning because you're focusing on your core vision, your core business, and you don't have time to innovate. Who has time to innovate? I got to get that spreadsheet done. I got to get that report done. I got to get this project done. I got to get this, this. Innovation has no space, no time, no place in many organizations today. And it's sad. Because the problem is, is that how do you increase profitability? Well, you cut, right? That's the first thing people do. First thing people do when they come in the door, when you have a new CEO coming into the organization, the first thing that they do is cut, is cut. And when they cut, it looks good for a while, but then they can only cut so far because you, you've, you've let people go and you've got doubling and tripling of people spending so much time working that they have no time to innovate no time to innovate. So what do you do? How, what's the other side of the profitability argument? Well, you have to get people to, to be able to pay more. They need to increase your willingness to pay. If you can't get, if you can't cut your operations down to increase your profitability, you have to increase the amount of money you charge people. And to increase the amount of money you charge people, you have to make them more willing to pay higher prices. Well, how do you make them more willing to pay higher prices or to buy new products and services that are improvements on the old ones? Well, you need to innovate. You need to be able to have innovators within your organization who can develop those new products and services, who can develop those new enhanced things that will increase your profitability. But what have you just done? You've cut your operations down so much that people are double and tripling jobs and they don't have time to innovate. They don't have time to innovate. They just have to do their work and their coworkers work and their colleagues work and their co too much work. They're drowning. They're drowning. So what do you have to do? Well, you've got to bite the bullet and you've got to hire more people. You have to allow your people to have time to innovate. Everyone's familiar with the Google 20% time, even if they don't do it anymore. But it's the same in all these organizations. If you do not allow your employees, members of your organization, if you don't allow them to innovate, if you don't give them the free time to be able to innovate and the money to be able to build prototypes and the safe space for them to be able to share their ideas, then you're not gonna get the innovation. You're not gonna get the increased willingness to pay. You're not going to get that. You're going to constantly be low, 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 and you're never going to be able to innovate. You're never going to be able to create new businesses, new products, new services, change your corporate culture. You're never going to be able to do those things unless you give your people time to be able to do those things. It has to be built right in to their roles. It has to be built right in as part of the culture of the organization that we're not gonna work you to the bone. We're gonna give you time, space, and be patient so that when you generate new ideas, new innovative services and products that can bring in new pro profits, you'll be able to do that. You will have the space in which to do that. That's it for me for today. 
See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future. Thank you.